Hello, everyone. And welcome to a very beautiful outside. What's outside? Right? Yeah, I know. It's I was, so nice outside. I was almost wanting to film this outside, but unfortunately, all of our neighbors just started to use their chainsaws at the exact same time. People are getting things done today. So also, if you hear anything, I tried to close all the windows, but if you hear anything, for some reason, all of our neighbors are They're chopping down every single tree. There's lots of Shockingly, that was not a chainsaw, but yeah. it's um, loud. It's like in the 70s for the first time in Minnesota today, so that means every single soul in this state is outside. Oh. So noise is galore, Indeed. including Mike and Will. They're really mad that we have to like bring them inside when we film, obviously, because <laughs> French Bulldogs can get... French napped? Yes, they can. So we don't leave them outside, so they're pretty upset. They're like, um, can you get through this so we can- He's like, can you? I got something to do outside. I have yard work to do. <laughs> this is the week of the 6th through the 12th. And I would say that this week started really ooky spooky and I was like, this isn't gonna be a good sales week. But then it picked up a lot and it ended up being actually a pretty good sales week. I did do good aggressive offers, so mm -hmm. that could definitely be why. But either way, in the end, it's like the like wiping the sword That's off your forehead. That's meme. Yeah. I feel like I did a lot more sourcing this week than I did anything else. Because I've been on spring break, I've had time to go places and to go to the places that I normally don't get to go because of school. So I like did a ton of sourcing. I didn't yeah. do any listing. I didn't really sell that much. I had a couple of good sales on some platforms this week that kind of like didn't completely put me in the dust, which is nice, but good things to come. As know? a reminder, yeah, Ryan was on spring break. We actually, we only made it to the bins once and we really weren't there very long at all. So I wish we had like a fun like bins trip video to be posting this next week. Sorry. But unfortunately it just wasn't good. So it's, we it's okay. we don't have footage from it. It was like real bad, but we did some sourcing other places. Ryan went to yes, Unique or a goodwill, or, a goodwill and you spent a lot of money i spent like 200 dollars. yeah ryan did some consign a lot of consigning i do have sales on basically all the platforms though ebay was quite silent mercari picked up a little compared to last week but that's pretty easy when i had none last week and then posh ended up being quite average normal but yeah i have like one ebay i have a few ebay i have a few depop and then i have mainly poshmark mercari yeah. has been quiet for me for like weeks yeah i was finally posting some this week so i think that helped of course before we talk about ourselves mm -hmm. we have someone else to talk about As and always. that is the valentine vip and who of is it this the week? week and that is alina Ooh. so alina's yeah. closet is bolo co or bo low co and I that is spelled b-o-h-l-o underscore co and alina has all kinds of cute stuff as all of our valentines seem to have she's got cute aloe she's got good lulu pieces she's got some aritzia she's got some free people she's got all the classics she's got some johnny was she has a really beautiful johnny was dress she had a really pretty anthro dress jenny U dress farm rio dress she's ready to reel in the spring and summer sales it seems and then some cute banana Republic and Bowden Blazers, and so she's got kind of like a mix of. She's kind of got it all. She's she's Good touching all the different ends of the spectrum. Yeah, she even had like home stuff and like <gasps> toys. So like yeah, Ooh. she really is touching like all the different ends. So go show Alina, whose closet you've been seeing right here. Go show her some love, some well rested after spring break love. <laughs> I'll be demure. Yeah! I was gonna say, I was Ooh. kind of expecting a big one. Ryan's got a lot of rest in. Uh, those I vocal have. cords have been resting this week, so. <laughs> yes, they have. Thank so, you, So, thank you, Alina, for being a Valentine, and thank you to all of our Valentines for being Valentines. We appreciate it so much. Yes, we do. So dang much. Thank you. All right, so let's move on to maybe eBay first. We can do feedback. Because it's kind of a short one this week, yeah. and then you can do your depopler, depoplers. I'd be happy to. My only one on eBay is something I do like to sell all throughout the year, though it is obviously kind of more of a fall piece and that is a vintage leather jacket so this was a fully zip oversized leather jacket this one sold for $68 and the buyer paid shipping and this did not sell through promotion so that was great it was just like Wilson's leather or something but I feel like when I buy them I like to lean towards a lamb leather like the super soft oh, yeah. buttery amazing stuff mm -hmm. of course like better condition and then I usually prefer the more button up ones like the ones that look more like blazers like mm -hmm. shacket leather jackets I feel this like one was zipped though and it still sold for 68 so I mean they all do do well but I prefer kind of like the buttony type ones they do do well they do do <laughs> 
Well, my first on eBay it was this Ulla Johnson chartreuse silk Abilene, Abilene, I have no idea, long sleeve dress. This sold for $150. And I will make something. And the next is kind of a new bolo, maybe, allegedly. 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 If you find it, pick it up. I found mine in the bins. These were Hidden NY Black Mesh Shorts. It's like a kind of expensive, like, men's suitwear brand. They do a lot of, like, athleisure, like, basketball looking stuff. These sold for $55. Mm -hmm. For a pair of like mesh shorts, I think it's pretty good. And they were two fifty. <laughs> Those when Ryan showed me them and he's like, these are worth money. They kind of like triggered me because I remember being in like middle school wearing they shorts. They were everywhere. Like that. They were everywhere. Those like mesh gym shorts. Ugh, we have to shed a tear. So moving on to de pop de pop. Oh. How many did you have? I had five. Okay. And I had one bundle. Go me. First was this vintage red ribbed eagle embroidered fitted tank top sold for 18. Thank I you. loved that. She was <laughs> That was that. really cute for being, what was it, like American living or American vintage or something? That was- American living. That was so cute. She was adorable. My next was this really cute vintage coquette cottage cream crochet floral knit button down vest. Vests. I don't know why I don't think about more. Because they do good for me. Vests! Mm-hmm. Period. This one sold for 20. Had 10 likes. This was a Y2K Phoenix graphic studded ribbed fitted embroidered tank top. These don't do like shockingly amazing for me as much as they used to, but they still sell pretty well. This one sold for 15. Was that then, by like Affliction or whatever? <laughs> or what was that brand called? Something like that. Skinny Mini. Is that is Affliction though the name of that one that makes like men's? That buckle company? Yeah. Yes, it absolutely is. This next one is a quite cute little bundle. Bundle of gray dragon tank and orange mesh long sleeve sold for $40. My picture is Gypsy Rose and P. Davidson. <laughs> mm. Very deep. How did it sell then? I made her a listing. <laughs> <laughs> and then my last on Depop was this American Apparel black open knit collared cropped polo sold for $26. Nice. On Mercari, I had four. So my first one on Mercari was this Patagonia Better Sweater Blue Knit Full Zip Vest. And this sold for $30 after the buyer literally pleaded and prayed with me to get it for $30. Oh my God. I had it listed at like, I put this on my Instagram story. Of course, not like showing names or anything, but I had it listed for 46 bucks. And the person was like, please, 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 literally typed that out. Give this to me for like 22, I think it was. And I was like, I can drop all the way down to 30 as my lowest if you're interested in that, but um, okay. And they were like, please, 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 25. And I was like, If you no. beg, you're gonna get blocked. I'm no. so sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come onto my website. Please. Blocked immediately. <laughs> please, 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 please. Immediately. <laughs> Just really Ew. interesting behavior. Stop that. Then I sold these Birkenstocks. These were the Roma strap bag leather sandals. These sold for 35, which was my full listing price. Those did not do that good. I don't know if this is like a specific style that's just not as popular as the rest, but this one didn't do as well. I feel so. like all Birkenstocks are kind of the same. Birkenstock Roma, Sachet, Away. Away. And never come back. <laughs> then I sold this pair of Free People onesie Star Twinkle Celestial Leggings. So every once in a while, there's this brand called Onesie, O-N-Z-I-E. They make a lot of leggings. They always seem, mm -hmm. like if you feel them and you look at them, they seem really cheap. But they're honestly pretty expensive. They're cheap. They don't really do that well. But every once in a while, some of them are Free People. And I think they've even done some where the label will literally say Free People, free people onesie. X Onesie. But mm -hmm. there's some that are just they just says onesie and they've been sold there so i would pick up the free people ones basically no other ones that's it unless it was at the bins because like shockingly some consignment stores do know what it is which kind of like surprises me because are you just, sure it does like, like if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about like, like it looks line. cheap and it feels cheap and the printing looks really cheap and the tags look cheap so like it's not good yeah but it's like a hundred dollars a pair of leggings on revolve it's wild and last on mercari was this anthropology hutch garden party printed midi dress actually it's almost like a maxi dress this just sold last night so i have not shipped this one yet it sold for a hundred dollars kind of another good Mercari sale. I honestly, like, a $40 sale on Mercari is high. That's a I good feel one. like. Yeah. So I to sell that. something for 100 is really good. Alrighty, so let's move on to Poshmark, shall we? Poshmark. It's so the first days of the 6th. And like I said, we started slow, so I had one on the 6th. 
I have four. I sent out some cheap little offers and mm -hmm. I got a couple of biters. Good. Yeah. So my first sale was this Anthropology Charleston Lace Mini Dress. This I just found at the bins maybe like two weeks ago. I did take you guys with on this one. Sold for $58. I get $46.40 and that would have been a really good like bridal photo shoot dress not like Ooh. a wedding dress but like definitely yeah. like a go to a dinner take a couple of like pictures. a party of some kind yeah Immediately. that was so cute my first on the sixth was this free people and oh my love it just said oml but it was really cute though it was this evergreen silk romper sold for thirty dollars i had this listed for more i just marked it down and somebody bought it and i will make 24. so it was a collab you yes, somewhere like it said x o m l mm -hmm. Hmm. Never heard of it's it. It's cute. Yeah. It'd be it's it's good to know the free people collabs because like, oh yeah, it's not oh, as yeah. obvious as like other collabs. Mm -mm. Like, yeah. Okay. Next on the sixth, I went to Sharon. It was this vintage nineteen seventies beautiful multicolored floral tiered maxi dress. She got it for fifteen, and I will make nine eighty eight after the shipping discount. Thank you, Sharon. My next on the sixth went to the lovely Miss Melanie, and she got this really adorable Ralph Lauren denim and supply blue floral top. Sold for seventeen. I will make eleven fifty. Thank you, Miss no, She's just got to throw a coach bag around the shoulder, and she's, and she's ready good to go. To go. <laughs> She's the woman on the move. Look at you. Next on the sixth, I had a little bundle. Madewell burgundy floral silk button down top, and these Lululemon final lap cropped little legging thingers. Kind of leggings, kind of not. They were like a swimsuit material, hmm. which is interesting. Like scuba pants, almost? a little bit, like Weird. a thin scuba pant. Hmm. Interesting. Button sold for thirty dollars, and I will make twenty four, and that is it for my sixth. On the seventh, I had two. I had one. My first sale was this Doc Martens holographic logo canvas tote. This sold for 20 bucks. I get 16, obviously really cheap at the bins, weighed as much as like a t-shirt. And I kind of took that one on a Ryan's book because Ryan sells a lot of canvas tote bags. So, and mm -hmm. I was like, and a lot of people love Docs. So. Oh, they do yeah. so good. Then I sold, and this one was hard to get rid of. I kind of wanted to keep this. Kavu Pinecone Printed Fleece Snap Pullover. This sold for 50, I get 40. I actually paid, I think like $11 at a normal Goodwill for this. Because like, look how cute it is. Being up north in Minnesota, being around a cabin, some fun like summer vibes with this fleece because you know it's like it's a little chilly when you're having your bonfire at night oh it would have been so um, nice yeah so good i knew that would do well and usually i would not pay almost anything for kavu anything from them at all but that one i knew was worth it i would do that one my one and only on the seventh was this ted baker navy blue floral silk blend top i would have liked to get more for this but just get it out of my life sold for 25 dollars. i make 17.98 normally i think it does a little bit better i just been sitting on it for a while. Yeah. And I'm ready for her to go. Ted Baker is a very hit or miss brand. She very like, much is. Either it sells for a lot or it sells for uh It nothing. sells for nothing. Yeah. Interesting. On the eighth, I had two again. I had none. My first sale was Every. Every. Love me some Every. Every Larissa Cargo Black Straight Pants. These were so adorable from the bins. Sold for 40 bucks. I get 32 and those did just have the Ever Eve label in them. It was not like a brand they sell. And then this was probably, this is not my biggest sale, sale of the week, but this is possibly like the most shocking mm -hmm. for like how much it sold for. I sold this Banana Republic 2022 Structured Wool Button Coat. So this kind of like looked like a blazer as you can see, but it was more of like a riding jacket, mm -hmm. like a kind of horse, a horse girl vibe. I had like an equestrian vibe. Yeah. yeah. And so the wool on this was unlike any mall brand wool I have like ever felt. This was a thick, Mm -hmm. structured like no seam is ever gonna split on this thing Confirm. jacket it was so nice so it sold for my full asking price of a hundred dollars for a banana republic jacket and i get 80 and i do think this was a bins find but this is one i totally would have paid like even if it was priced at like 14.99 i'd be like oh but i want to get it so bad. i'd probably still buy it yeah on the ninth i had one none so we're still on the like the slow train mm -hmm. i sold this lululemon city sleek pair of seven eighths length straight pants for 30 and I get 24. Very natural, natural color. Natural very color. natural earth color. Very fitting for the season. Very. Then on the 10th, must be when I send offers out because we picked her up a little bit and we had nine sales. I had one. I'm gonna go first. I will go first because it's a really good one. <laughs> this was my kind of little leg and my shock back to my week and I was very excited about this selling. This was a vintage Gucci, the Sherry Lane, Gigi monogram top handle, little like, looks like a speedy. Yeah. Looks like a speedy. Doctor bag. Little doctor bag. Sold for a three hundred dollars. I make two hundred and forty. Nice. Was Where was that from? Consignment store. Consignment store. I got it at Turnstile. Nice. Yes. That's 
Turnstile does not have like luxury super often, so mm -hmm. that's nice. I love Turnstile. I do too. We might go there today. <laughs> So my first sale was this Christian Dior Patent Logo Beauty Perfumes Cosmetic Case, I mm -hmm. guess, not a pouch. Sold for 30, I get 24. Weirdly enough, this is going one city over from us. One city below. So yeah. I could basically go out in the backyard and just like throw it over a couple houses and this person could probably catch it. They'd be like, oh, thank you. That was fast delivery. I love that. Then Jill popped into my closet. So hello, Jill. Hi, Jill. How is Florida? She made a very Florida purchase. This is Ooh, very that makes fitting. Sense. So first up, she got this Hermenegilde Zenia printed window tie. And it was like, what that means is there were literally pictures of windows with like bowls of fruit in front of them. Yes. Super cute. So cute. Love the color of that. And then this is very fitting for Florida. It's Chubby's classic alligator crocodile print swim trucks. They look like Lily. Love Chubby's. Mm -hmm. It sells so good, especially the swim stuff because they make a couple other things. But these together sold for 75 and I get 60 So thank you once again to Jill. Then I sold this Free People Easy Street crop chunky Ooh. sweater. So the Easy Street sweater is Ryan's like signature sweater. If you've seen I him ever in the I mock neck it. like chunky knit sweater that's what it is he has them in like a million colors i used to i've downsized a little yeah. bit but i'm I just like if someone feels the like they've seen a couple of them on you yes they are all free oh people. yes you have <laughs> like they're all yes, of them were free have. people so this one sold for 45 i get 3302 that i must have listed it at 50 that is such a popular style like yours mm -hmm. but then also the crop one seems like it's popular too so and that was actually a bin's fine mm -hmm. and it was new with tags it's actually in a bag that i'm supposed to haul for you guys coming up. Somewhere. I haven't shipped it yet. <laughs> then, this was a really good sale. It was the mm -hmm. day of Gucci, I guess. The, the House of Gucci. Gucci. House of Gucci. This Gucci pair of Princeton leather slide mules sold, and they sold for $325, and I get $260. Those things are so timeless that anytime you find them, even, I think I paid like $125 for those, totally worth the pickup. Because then they sold within like a week. Oh, immediately. Getting them. Immediately. Then I sold this J. Crew Ruffle Bell Sleeve Midi black dress sold for $36 I get $26.78 another like fall color trending for spring for some reason mm -hmm. black then I sold this old navy 2022 smocked fit flare puff sleeve dress for $17 and I get $11.58 and I feel like Debbie with that one yeah a little bit that was just I thought it was really cute it's from 2022 and I think I've had it listed for a while so I probably just shouldn't have done that <laughs> then Lizzie popped into my closet also Lizzie! known aka flippin Lizzie she told me that Lizzie. she's still climbing up the little YouTube ladder. Good for said, her. Good for you, girl. So she got herself this vintage crochet rainbow handmade cardigan, which is so freaking cute. So and so, so well made. Good. So, so good. So good. Sold for $91. I get $70.78. So thank you to Flip and Lizzie from the House of Flips. From the House of Flips. Yes. <laughs> and then I sold this Jay McLaughlin Unstructured Linen Spring Blazer for $35. I get $25.98. That actually did really well. Good. Surprisingly. And I, I did not think Jay McLaughlin. I see a lot of Jay McLaughlin. Besides I Janet, I didn't think that that did well. No. That seems like a brand mm -hmm. that she would like gobble up. Then Jackie popped into my closet. Jackie. <laughs> Jackie Perch. I don't know why. Jackie, I'm there. so sorry that you turned into a tech shop with that one. Oh my lord. So ja Jackie purchased this Pottery Barn pair of whimsical reindeer holiday sleep pants. These are so cute. And Debbie, actually, my mother, is selling the like um like dessert plates that matches this print. Wow. Each of the so reindeer. You can eat your little midnight dessert in your little your pajamas. pajama pants. Yeah. How cute. Yeah. Each of the reindeer, it's like all of Santa's reindeer, they're doing their own like name. So Cupid's like shooting a bow and arrow and dancers like dancing around and Prancer's oh, prancing that's around. So it is cute. such a cute print. So she got these for 24. I get 17, 18. I that's like horrible. my favorite one is Blitzen is Blitzed. Oh, he's so drunk? He's like, oh, I love that. That's so pretty funny. iconic. We stand Blitzen in this house. Yeah. So then on the 11th, I had six. Take it away. <laughs> my first on the 11th was this Frankie's Bikinis, which is a very, very good swim brand. If you ever find one, pick them up, especially at the bins from store can time to store. Mm -hmm. They do really good. Especially if they're textured, ribbed, or have like little red or printed. Little cutouts in them, yeah. yeah. 
This one sold for $22. It was a little bit more of a boring style and I had had this for a while and I was like, fine, literally like get rid of it. I have done very well with other swimsuits from that brand. It's right? like huge bolo, never skip it. It's so amazing. So I sold this, this for $4. This one sold for $4 <laughs> and I had it for three years. <laughs> Kind of. Next on the so 11 was this pair of Abercrombie and Fitch cut off jean shorts sold for $25. I will make 20 Very spring. Very spring. So my first on the 11th, very spring. I sold these American Eagle Tom Girl denim short alls. Ooh, these cute. sold for 25 I get 20 Those are doing really good. I think American Eagle overalls and short alls do really well. Mm -hmm. I think you even sold quite a few of the overalls, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have. That even, I think, can apply for Old Navy. It's just, like, people don't really care about, like, the brand of their overalls. They just want overalls. Yeah. That's it. Then I sold, this was a good one, Louis Vuitton Brass Fleur de Monogram Chain. So this is not a bracelet, but it's also not exactly, like, a keychain. You take a Speedy or yeah. one of the one of the bags that has, like, two rings to a handle to it, and you, like, connect them. You clip like, it to little, the handles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super cute. These do really well, and honestly, any of the Louis, like, keychains and stuff do really well and go for a lot so oh, even yeah. if you see them at a consignment oh, yeah. store and once again they're priced at like 100 125 it is still worth buying them to they're flip so them so expensive because this sold for 300 and honestly like i could have got even more people list them for like four to five and i will get 23203 so that is great and again definitely be willing That's to pay up say. for those next up i sold this paparazzi boho floral embroidered hooded like a duster cardigan type jacket thing sold for 61 i get 45 82 this is the second time i've had this brand they really they're basically a johnny was knockoff brand hmm. the label Good doesn't job. look expensive the like made in china tag doesn't look expensive but this brand is actually decently expensive and does really well so hmm. definitely pick that up if you see it interesting then i sold these nike 2022 lnd lined sportswear shorts for 18 dollars. i get 14 40 but those sold in a day so that doesn't, is great. Doesn't LND mean lined? Is that what it is? Yeah. I have no clue. It just I said think that's LND. what that means, if I'm not mistaken. LND. And lined. now I'm remembering why I didn't keep them because they're lined. Because oh, <laughs> I showed Debbie and Ryan that sale yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, I almost wanted to keep these." And Debbie's like, "Why didn't you?" And I was like, "I don't know. <laughs> I know. I don't remember because I hate lining in shorts. Oh, immediately. Like, no thanks. Even in swim trunks, no lining. I just no. No, I don't like them. I can't do that. I'm so sorry. Then I sold one of my favorite brands to sell, Filson Double Tin Legacy Straight Leg Pants. The Tin Legacy is like the name of the style. Mm -hmm. Sold for $90, I get $72. I don't exactly remember what I paid for those, but I did pay up probably like $40 at the most. Another thing I love paying up for, mm -hmm. Filson. Then I sold these Ferragamo Silver Metallic F Heel Slingback Mules. These were so cute. These may or may not fit a trend that we just talked about on Tuesday. These sold for 180, I get 144. They were short, kitten-like heels. They were sling back. They had a strap across the top of the foot and they were a mule style. So they kind of fit like- They do check a lot of boxes. Box. She yeah. checks a lot of boxes. And then the 12th, the last day of what sold Saturday, I had one. Dwa. Um, you can go twa. first. I don't know what four is. My first in the 12th, vintage handmade patchwork, handmade vest. That was made by, by hand. hand. <laughs> Sold for eighteen dollars. I make fourteen forty. And then my last on the twelfth was a really cute little bundle with this really adorable vintage seventies coquette pink floral embroidered to top this other really adorable cabbie. It was these like vintage perfume bottles. And I normally don't pick up old cabbie, but like this print, I was like, ooh. Yeah. This is a good one. Give me that. And then this really cute Y2K black pink plaid knit stretch skirt. Bundle sold for $63, and I will make fifty forty. Nice. So my last sale of the week was also a bundle, and that went to Bethany. Bethany. So hello, Bethany, and thank you so much. Bethany purchased two Abercrombie & Fitch tops. One was the floral short sleeve men's top, and one was the floral Hawaiian short sleeve men's top. And if we're moving like a PowerPoint, it's because Ryan has I'm gone a million I'm yawning times. today. Oh, so Lord. So if I cut them out, it's probably like suddenly, suddenly like I'm over here and suddenly I'm over there. I don't know I'm why. talking about I'm one so sale and then I'm talking about another one. She also got this Madewell Courier Pintuck back textured shirt. 
And Kate Spade Geneva gold aviator sunglasses. So I think I've heard that the Madewell Courier shirt, though it doesn't like really look, like it's not too assuming, mm -hmm. it always does quite good. They do. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they do. And they make yeah. them in every single pattern. It's like print, a nice like slubbed cotton, always trendy. Like the oversized button up shirt vibe is like always trendy. Oh yeah. Like that's just always a thing. Oh yeah. So she got all this for 110 and I get 88. And Bethany delivered the news to me, which she's keeping me in the loop right after I accepted her offer. She's like, thanks. By the way, did you hear that the Golden Bachelor already is getting divorced? I <laughs> love that. And I was for like, her. Bethany, I'm glad you Thank know you what me. I Thank really care about. No, no, because like Ryan and I were so into the Golden Bachelor, and I actually had not heard that yet. <sighs> and I was like, typical. Really? That's why you should have picked Leslie. Duh. You'd be happily married in Minneapolis then, but hmm. Hmm. Okay. I guess not. Stay in nowhere, Indiana. Love her. <laughs> so. Not my problem. So my gross for this week definitely helped out by those like three three hundred dollar sales was seventeen sixty. Mine was five forty five, which nice. is bad. And my nut. What? That was wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm serenading you. Don't look at me like that. You're what do you welcome. mean? Hmm. <laughs> It was 1408. It was 436 on Poshmark. Time mm -hmm. to go outside. Time to go outside. Mm -hmm. The doggies want to go outside again, yes. I can tell. It is so nice out. So we are going to... I think this whole weekend is supposed to be nice. So I hope, I hope wherever you guys are, you're getting some fantastic weather. I've heard that it's already considered hot some places. Oh. And I'm like, I'll take it. So oh, I can't I would take wait. it. Wait. Yeah. We're gonna like so borderline nice. possibly going to touch 80, like either... I think it's today, Saturday, or on Monday. How about both? That's gonna be good. How about both? It's gonna yeah. be really good. Can like chop up some leaves and yeah. sit. Sit. And have a bonfire. I think that's what we're gonna do tonight. And that bonfire. I am pumped about. So. I love a bonfire. Anyways, enjoy your weekend. But of course, let us know how any of the platforms performed for you guys yes. this week. And we will see you on Tuesday. See you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.